Oh, oh. We decided to move with this Somehow I ended up with prostitute I had to find myself that had a lot to do with it All my ookas, only God can do it I don't talk stupid when they climb the music Drop my shit and make them drown the music Found myself in all the songs abusive What now, nigga, I be dying to use it Try to rock my boat, you gotta rock it What's happening, you beautiful humans? My name is Ariane Andrew I'm Matt Dillon, and welcome to another special edition of Sippin' the Tea Quarantine Edition, where we uh, sip that tea and our guests Spill that <laughs> you are not about to leave. You're hanging there, girl. <laughs> Who you got over there? We got Miss Mama in the building today. We have little Glitty. Ladies and gents, we have a, a star on the rise, a rapper that has been lauded already by Paper Magazine. He's one to watch. He just dropped a new single, Butterfly. Billy Rex, my man, how are you? I'm goody. What's goody, man? I'm holding up. Good. Oh, I'm going to get a t-shirt. What's goody? Here we go. Here we go. Are you well? Yeah, I'm, I'm Gucci. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing fine. Doing fine, man. Like I said, I'm holding up. That's yeah. good. So how are you holding up with quarantine and the whole life of being locked up? How are you, how are you doing with that? And what, what are you doing to keep busy? Uh, I'm still creating. I'm still in the studio. I'm still doing that as much as possible. I'm in Texas, so, like, they say it's getting bad here, but, like, shit is more sp spread out here. And I don't deal with a lot of people on the regular anyway, so, like, uh... It's not really, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as my creativity and shit like that, I'm good. But, like, as far as everything around here is weird. Like, me in a pandemic. So, like, I think everybody's feeling that shit. I agree. No, it's it's crazy. It's a crazy, crazy time. I want to talk about because you touched on it. Yes, we're in a pandemic, but also, like, you're a creative all the time in your life through your art, through your music. At this particular point in time, why do you think being a creative, I, I think, is so important right now? Like, putting yourself into art or music. What's your take on that? Um, in reality, like, it's the main thing that's living right now and that's speaking. So we blessed, really, like, we blessed to be doing what we're doing, actually make money living off of it. And then it's the thing that's going to stick around, like, music, uh, everything. I mean, I've been on this way, but I've been on, like, the legacy of doing, like, artistic way, like, speaking and on some like speaking, not necessarily just conscious, but it's for a deeper purpose. I'm not really a gimmick, so like, I'm, if anything, it just don't be like damn, like you know what we doing is really going is really gonna keep going, especially the pandemic. It's, it go. I mean, we we see that think it's died and music is still here, but it's, this is something new, like a a pandemic, and it feel like the online shit got more hype, like and and you know art, music, you know whatever you can do online, whatever you can consume. It just feels like it's it's elevated now. So I, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's it's lit. Like I've been using the moment to inspire myself to be like everybody be scared of shit. I'm this shit inspires me. That is that's so I like cool. that. That's yes. some dope perspective. That is a really dope perspective because you do see so many people and I feel like once this is done, because everything like in life, everything shall pass, is there gonna be a lot of people left ahead? But I feel like this is also a time obviously it's you know you never want people to be dying from something but this is a time where a lot of people are going to be able to get ahead because they're using this time to actually elevate themselves and be inspired and be creative so yeah it's super dope for you to have that perspective you know because not yeah. many people have that facts so facts yeah yeah I, I i never really get in a frenzy with shit though that's just me with general like i don't even vote so like i don't really yeah i don't know you can say it's a bad or good thing but it's just well, for me it's just Perspective on life, like my perspective on the world, this this world, like I don't get in a frenzy over shit. Like that's just how I am in general. So I mean, well, let's I mean, let's go there. This is all about you know spilling the tea, sipping the tea, and I know that that can be like a touchy subject. But you know, why is it that you feel like you know you don't vote, or what is it that drives your mind to not get in a frenzy about stuff? Uh. Cause I don't really, I feel like life is about perspective. So I might vote one day. That's if my perspective change. I mean, you can get perspective in a lot of different ways, money, um, mm -hmm. you know, networking, all of that. So I'm just a realist. So like, like that shit, I, it just feels trivial to me until I guess that my perspective changes. And then like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I, uh, for right now, I'm just trying to affect it with my art. That's, that's speaking louder than my vote. Like right now, I'm, I already drop a uh, video and worry about voting because I doubt somebody going. I don't know where my vote is. I don't even know what the fuck my vote is. But I know if I can get on stage in front of like 
I can work this shit enough to get on stage in front of 10,000 people, I can get up there and talk my shit and influence, influence bigger that way than this vote, this vote, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how I look at shit. I, I mean, that's a, honestly, you back it up. Your your perspective is backed up, and I really appreciate that. That basically you want your art to speak for itself and use that as your influence rather than you know just being one of the masses. I I can't disagree with that at all, at all. I'm, I'm, a I'm down like for that. In front of people, a lot of people like us get in front of more people. The only reason Kanye can, only reason Kanye shit became such a big roar because he's the artist Kanye, because he's Kanye. He then then whatever he says and whatever he do has a bigger impact. I might be more responsible. Or might just be more like careful, you know. Kanye's impulsive, but that's the only reason he has such an impact because he's Kanye. He's that artist who kind of used his art to get that influence, and then now he can like talk like that. And yeah. When I talk like that, but he can say he can say what he wants, and it and it influences people. It, it like reaches a lot of people. You know what I'm saying whether you like it or not. That's that's so true. It's just like I mean. Like they say, an original is worth more than a copy. And it's like he's being original in the way he feels. No matter if you agree or disagree with him, it mm -hmm. causes a frenzy. And, and sometimes do causing a frenzy is getting your, you know, getting your word out there because you're not just, you're not just appealing to like what the masses are saying. You're doing what truly makes you happy. And, you know, like Matt said, how you, your perspective on things and how you're backing it up, I think is super dope because most people will say, well, I'm just doing this. They don't really have a reason of why they're deciding to yeah. be original or deciding yeah. different so uh, it just shows that you have a, the mind behind it i appreciate that actually yeah it's like yeah it's i think it's very wise it's very it's a wise it's a wise thing i want to talk about though your actual art and i want to talk about butterfly and the visual component of how important that is to you because i was watching the video and the music <clears throat> it seems like it's not it's literally like a, an escapism moment, but it's like you're giving us a peek inside what your like, process. Take us through that and, and how you come up with not only the music, but that visual. Because I'm like, the visual is killer. Appreciate it. Um, I just, I'm an artist. So I, for one, I don't really look at music like music first. It's first because it's, I mean, I don't think people be able to take my visuals in and what I do if they didn't like my voice or my sound. I mean, so it's first, but like it doesn't always have to be a first. I I see visuals sometimes before I make my music. Um, sometimes I'm in a traveling and I'm like, nah, fuck that, bro. Like I gotta go crazy here. And the whole location and what I'm at inspires like me. It inspires me to go do a video song that I already had. Before. So like, um, I think like me, I just always had that quote unquote, I guess like whatever gift to like vision. I've been visually inclined from the jump, really. And so, like, um, I don't know. I'm trying to be a caricature of myself right now um, because, like, uh, I feel like that's going to be the fastest way where the masses take me in to hear me. Uh, I don't have anybody put me on or, like, uh, it hasn't played out like that for me right now. So um, me being a caricature of myself, like, expressing myself so vividly on all mediums, it got me in so many rooms, bro. Like, it got me in so many places around so many people that I'm inspired by that I doubt people in my, a lot of people in my position have gotten at this point, put it like that. So like, I don't know, I'm invested very big on the visual side, uh, just cause that's naturally who I am. And also speaks to a lot of different people. I got people that are fans of my music or fans of what I'm doing, probably mainly because like, they in tune with my visual, visuals, me yeah. visually, shit like that. Um, but yeah, man, like I, I just, I've been exposed to a lot, like growing up, like I just been around like a lot of different type of I just I don't know I've been like me growing up from where I'm from I was able to be around a lot of different type of people and influence a lot of different type of ways. So you know art I can see that clearly now. I wasn't always a rapper or an artist. You know? I've been doing music for five years, five and a half. Five, but like I can see how all these influences in life have played out just through how I look at my art. Sometimes I just be doing the shit, right? Sometimes it be like unintentional. I, I like that. It's like in your blood. It's like when you say it's unintentional, it's there's intent behind it because I think you're living in your truth, basically. And I think yeah. that's dope. And I can clearly see that through through everything. Facts. That you, I think you uh, just said that the right perfect way. I can. I would never said it like that. But yeah, that's. that's I got no. I, I I picked up what you're putting down. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. So I mean, because of how much of a dope visual artist you are, and 
you know, who do you think in the future you would love to do a collaboration with to like, you know, kind of be on the same wavelength that you are and, you know, do a collaboration that meets the type of music that you like? Um, it just depends on what kind of ways. Um, I want to I want to do movies one day. Uh, I want to I mean, let's take it in steps like music wise, man, like the goat. I got to work with Wayne just off of our sound and our like our, how we, our vibrations. I mean, he's probably like the biggest influence, just me like consciously knowing he's one of the biggest influence. And so I just feel like us on the track, we're actually gonna be stupid. All right, then you got like the whole, the whole aspect of it. Like I probably just wanna work with Kanye just cause how intentional he's grown to be. And, and like, I just feel like I'm there. So it's just, like, if we work together, the world is gonna see me on a, they'll take it in on a more, I feel like if half of the people look at, really go look at my visions right now and take it in, how they would take it in a Kanye premiere, then like they would see every aspect of greatness that I'm on, every genius part of it. But if you take it in, just like, oh, there's some new dope person I just heard about, let me go take it in, then you might just be like, oh, that's a fire visual. But when Kanye drops some visual, you're looking at every little element of it and you're being right. like, oh, what does that mean? It's so intentional. I come in with that same intention and I'm just independent. So it's just like, if I could work with Ye, then people immediately see that intention like that. And then I'm pretty sure we'll collab in a crazy, crazy, crazy ass way. And then um, one of my fans just was like, bro, like, you need to do a movie with, like, Jordan Peele. And I was like, bro, that's fucking crazy. Cause, like, I yeah, say I'm, the action, yeah. yes. Yes, 100,000. I say it's a vision, 100%. 1,000. I was like, fuck, yeah, no, that's crazy that you said. Like, I didn't think about that, but, like, However he want to work with me, whether he sees me and like, oh, that, that kid can be an actor or like, yo, I want to collab with that kid in mind. Like, I'll do whatever. Well, keep just doing what you're doing because um, automatically what makes you different is that you are creating your own lane and not riding the wave of everybody else. Like, you're like, this yes. is how I'm going to do stuff. And literally, that's how people end up actually winning is you're just staying true to yourself. As long as you keep staying true to yourself and keep doing what you're doing, you're going to be on your way. So... I hear you. I'm on that way. I agree with that. I I, uh, I must say that it won't be too much longer. You'll actually be on the cover. I, I, I liked your uh, Instagram post where you posted Paper Magazine. You'd be like, the covers are coming. I was like, guaranteed. I, I see it. I see it. You've got, you got the images down. The swag is on. The, the music's there. So, I, you know, only blessings to you for what's ahead, for sure. Yeah. yeah I appreciate it, my G. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Of course. Yeah. Um, so, um, last little question before we go into rapid fire is even though music is been like digitally driven, you need, you know, nowadays you don't need a label to like really get to where you're at. Do you think with after the quarantine that things are going to change dramatically for the music industry? What do you think is going to come from this mm, quarantine? Good question. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe like, shit, I don't know, bro. I, I think it's, it's going to be more like the little online stuff. I don't know if it's about to change the whole landscape of music and all of that. Like, I think just like all these little things that became ways to advertise music and all of that just got more hype and more relevant. TikToks, different social media things. Maybe people are going to be more active with providing content. Um, yeah. True. Because like the game has been content driven. And then like, really now that this did happen, it's like, oh, 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 like what did, like it's content driven. You can like, yeah. you can, like, and that's why you got people engaging in live more, just doing whatever they can do because they got caught off guard. Um, True. And, but I think that'll just expose that. People will know like, yo, I got to create. Like I have, and it's technology, it's just rising, it's just so much shit. Like to survive and just be here, you got to create and get your point across. Like however you, whatever your medium is, I think that's just about to, you know what I'm saying? And then like, um, I don't know. I just think I'm ready for this summer. Hopefully, shit can turn back up as far as masses of people could get together because shows and festivals. That's crazy if it can if it can happen by the summer. I agree because music is to be experienced in the masses. I'm like, we got to get out there for real, for yeah. real. Facts, man. Well, first we got to make sure that you know we 100 though as well. You know? Yeah, no, I agree. I don't want yeah. no Corona bullshit. So I agree. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a whole other subject about the coronavirus, and that's. And we can go on a whole different tangent with that, but we're going to keep it light and cute. Um, so we're going to go ahead and kick it off with some rapid fires. And uh, to kick it off, if you could have um, dinner with one person dead or alive, who would it be? Uh, probably some, like somebody, I, I just asked this question, but I think somebody like super deep in my heritage to my family. It wouldn't even be, um, 
it probably wouldn't even be like somebody famous or some shit. It'd just be like somebody, somebody like ancestor of mine, like some like I don't know, like it'd be like some strong ass ancestor of mine, some the most important like ancestor that I had in my in my bloodline that I would probably want to talk to. That's see, right. that I, I see the mindset. That's, yeah. that's yeah, I love that. That's a that's a dope response. Um, if you were if the world was ending and it was just you, who would you pick to, you know, and you could get off the world and go onto an island, who would be the one person you would take that's living right now? Whoa, that's hard, bro. Like, what it? I got, like, you'd be like, got, mom, come on. Yeah, I got so many females in my, in my life right now that's, like, important. <laughs> like, that's hard. It'd be one of them, like, shit. It'd be my mom, my sister, and my girl. There you go. All right, he's packing them all in one package. I'll accept it, I'll accept it. <laughs> um and then last question what is the actual like uh, a real cd what was the act last cd you actually listened to that was like on an actual cd uh what do you call it cd drive cd wrong no a disc a compact disc girl oh, oh, the, compact the last, disc. in the last cd i listened to it probably um it was a mix cd made by myself like it probably mixed made we made this shit and it probably was like a lot of the drop three was on it okay there you go from the way that's probably like the last CD or like probably like randomly. I think the last CD probably bought was like, bro, it was a long time ago, like Bulletproof. I don't know, like by 50 Cent or something. Like, I don't know. I can't remember the last time. That's crazy. Right? It's a throwback. Well, for everybody who's living under a rock, where can everybody follow you and listen to your music? Um, Billy Rax, like B-I-L-L-Y-R-A-C-X-X. -X. Not, not like how you spell Rax, but like R-A-C-X-X. Um, everywhere, BillyRacksMusic.com, BillyRacks Twitter, Instagram, all that, BillyRacks merch, go buy my merch, everything, man. I feel like answering that question is like something like, uh, you did a lot when you was like, 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 like I don't know, like, I, 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 it's weird for me to answer that question now. I don't mind saying it for y'all, but like, it's like, yo, Billy Rax, like, I don't know, if you were going to follow Lil Wayne, you probably just type in like Lil Wayne on Google or something, or Lil Wayne merch, or you find it. Like me everywhere, Billy Rex. Like find him everywhere. Everywhere yeah. across all social platforms. Um, where yeah. can everybody fo follow you, Matt? Matt Dillon, 1983, as uh, as per usual. And what about you, girl? Um, across the board at Ariane Andrew. And Glitty is just she's been trying to get down forever. So bye. everyone's done. Billy Rex, continued success. Yes. Really appreciate your time. And uh, yeah, I'll let you outro it, Ari. All right, guys, yeah. until next week, we will catch you guys on the next one. Nigga, just a sound like this. You wonder what I'm wearing, who designed it? Come around my way, I win the fashion door. I don't really wanna lie to you. I've been thinking about a lot of stuff. And I don't even want them around in the mix when I'm up, cause they upset.